What's up with it, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Honcho, and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Alright guys, let's get right into it, man. You already know the vibes, you already know what type of time I'm on. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, well damn, please subscribe to the channel. Alright, also hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Honcho. Check out RaiderHoncho.com and pick you up some of that merch. So, I know you've seen the title, and I'm going to keep this brief, I'm going to keep this quick, because I know y'all tired of hearing me talk about DC, Derek Carr, the quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders, but I, I, I got to speak my mind on this and... Because I know you're tired of hearing me talking about it, and because I am tired of talking about it, I agree that it is probably in the best interest for the Raiders to move on from Derek Carr. And I know me and my homie Raid the Tape have talked about this, and it's not about anything to do with talent, it's not have anything to do with skills, it has everything to do with... It's time for us to move on in the sense of give us something else to talk about, okay? Because at the end of the day, the people... And the fan base that don't like Derek Carr are never going to like Derek Carr. The people who don't support Derek Carr are never going to support Derek Carr. They'll support him when times are good, but the minute times get rough, they are going to write him off. And I think it's because he has been here the longest, right? So the fact that Derek Carr has been here through all these tumultuous seasons, all this adversity, all this dysfunction in the organization... He seems to be the anchor of it. He seems to be wearing it. He seems to be attached to it. And for that reason, anytime there's dysfunction that shows his face or there's 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 uh, less than exceeding expectations that pop up, Derek Carr is going to be the one to blame because Derek Carr has been here through the whole process. So people are always going to say, well, what has he done in the eight years he's been here? What is he doing this year? How good is he? I've seen other quarterbacks do more with less, which to me is erroneous on all accounts because there aren't many quarterbacks that have had the type of dysfunction in the first eight years of their career like Derek Carr's had. Um, and mind you, through all of that, Derek Carr has still found a way to put our team in the best position to win. We already know he leads the NFL and comeback victory since he's been in the NFL. We already seen when he when he had us with a 12-3 record before he got injured with only a 20th ranked defense. We've seen Derek Carr put us in position to win game after game, time after time. Now, the problem I have with Derek Carr and, and the hate that he gets is that I think Derek Carr's expectations are based on what people expect to be around him, right? And let me break that down. What I mean by that is... You expect Derek Carr to have number one wide receivers. You expect Derek Carr to have really good coaching. You expect Derek Carr to have a good defense, right? So, so what I mean by that is that you expect Henry Ruggs to be a superstar. Well, Henry Ruggs isn't here anymore. You expect Brian Edwards to look like a number one receiver. Well, he doesn't look like a number one wide receiver. You expect it to be Derek Carr's fourth year in John Gruden's system. Well... Technically, John Gruden's not here anymore, and it's not John Gruden's offense. You expected Gus Bradley's defense to be a top echel upper echelon defense. Well, the truth is, Derek Carr's defense is not all that good this year. You expected Josh Jacobs to be a superstar running back. Well, Josh Jacobs isn't a superstar running back right now. So the thing is, is that you, you have all these expectations for what the Raiders can be. You have all these expectations of what Derek Carr could be based on the things that you expect to be around him. But... When those things show the, the expectations to be wrong, you don't change or evaluate or, or, or lower your expectations for what Derek Carr could do in this offense and with this team. So when you find out that Derek Carr doesn't have a number, number one wide receiver, it doesn't change your expectations of Derek Carr. When you find out that Gus Bradley's defense isn't all that good, it doesn't change your expectations for Derek Carr. When you find out that Josh Jacobs is only averaging three yards a carry and he's not the superstar running back that we all thought him to be, you don't change your expectations for Derek Carr. That's the problem. That's the problem because every other quarterback in the NFL, when they lose a number one wide receiver, you change what you think that team could do. When you find out they don't have a number one or, or a legitimate, consistent superstar running back like you thought they were going to have, you change what you think that team could do. For some reason, every time Derek Carr loses a receiver, loses a running back, he just lost his starting fullback, whenever... whenever 
something changes what the outcome of the game can be, you still expect Derek Carr to play at the same level, which is totally unfair to Derek Carr. And you can call it caping, you can call it riding, you can call whatever you want when it comes for me and Derek Carr. At the end of the day, I call it like I see it. He played terrible against the Bears. He played terrible against uh, the Giants. He played terrible in the first half against the Ravens. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to say he's playing terrible when you start to realize the things that it takes for him to play great are just not there right now. And until they're going to be there, you have to kind of adjust your expectations for him and the team. And the team. Everybody makes expectations in the offseason based on what a team could do. But then once the season starts, you never change those expectations. So I, I, don't, I don't understand what to tell you. I saw... Aaron Rodgers over the weekend throws zero touchdowns, one pick, have a QBR of 26 and still win the game by 17. Derek Carr can never have that type of game. Derek Carr can never have that type of game. I saw Lamar Jackson lose to Miami, which we beat both of those teams, right? Nobody's talking about replacing uh, Lamar Jackson. I seen Josh Allen lose to the Jags and only put up six points and throw picks all over the place. I seen Matthew Stafford last night only score seven on the 49ers with that defense, with that type of offense, with the added weapons of OBJ, and he has Cooper Cup over there, and Van Jefferson, and a solid running game. And Aaron Dowdle on defense. With all those things that he has, he still only put up seven points and lost to the 49ers. So, I just don't understand why every other team could have justifications. But when we talk about Derek Carr's excuses, I don't understand. So, for that reason, I think it's time to move on from Derek Carr. Just so people can get an honest look at what this team is. This team is not all that damn good. It is not all that damn good. And I think it's time for us to remove Derek Carr from it so everybody can actually see that. Because right now, they make it seem like Derek Carr is the reason we're not good. Well, let's take Derek Carr away and see how good this team really is. Is or how good this team really isn't. That's my opinion. So for that, I think it's time to move on from Derek Carr. I think Derek Carr's a great quarterback. I think Derek Carr could go to almost any other team in the NFL and be successful. And almost every single person agrees with that. So how Derek Carr is the issue is beyond me. But it's time to move on from Derek Carr um, only for that reason alone. Not because he can't play football, because I think Derek Carr is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, so get down in the comments, let me know what you think. If you think we should get rid of Derek Carr, if we should keep Derek Carr. If you think I'm totally off base with this, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, like the video. If you like the content on the channel, well, damn, subscribe to the channel. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Both are at Raider Honcho. And as always, until the next time, Raider Honcho out.